Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a bigger rocket stove. Um, something that's a little bit more permanent and you know you can grab by a handle and carry it around and turn it upside down and all that junk. Um, I'm gonna uh, be sharing that with you here in the rest of the video. So uh, that's the little one that we made and we are going to make a bigger one right there. It's going to be a rocket stove. I just barely got the top of it. I took everything I could get a six inch or excuse me a six like a six foot extension on a pipe wrench and another piece of solid iron about five feet long and finally got that sucker twisted off. But uh, you know, got some materials and tools and junk laying around that it's going to go into it and I'll I'll get back with y'all when I've got a little bit more progress done. So I uh, took my took my saw and I put a metal cutting blade on it and I cut the top of this thing off. See? Alright. That was the next step in this thing. Uh, I'll clean it up a little bit and then I'm gonna do some more stuff to it and I'll show you. Alright, so I got that tube cut and sitting in there. Um, it's just an L-shaped tube. I think it's a four inch uh, uh, hollow square stock or I can't remember what it's called it's four inch square tubing that's what it's called and I've got a uh, plate that I cut that was gonna go right there now all this gets welded together but before it gets welded together I'm gonna fill it full of vermiculite I've got four bags of vermiculite you only see two there so if you count uh, you know you're gonna have to let me know that you only saw two because I'm telling you I've got two more in another place so in any case it's getting closer. It's getting closer. I'll show you some more. Well, as you can see, I got it welded on. I did two really nice welds and then two really sucky welds. And by nice, I mean they're you know professional quality, like right there. And then, and then up there looks like it sucks, and over there looks like it sucks, and the one on the bottom looks really good. And it just comes from being out of practice. Um, I filled the uh, container full of vermiculite, which is going to uh, basically be insulation, and then I'm going to weld that top on. I'm going to do that right now, so we'll uh, catch you back after that. So uh, this was a lot difficult, a lot more difficult than uh, than I thought, simply because um, if you'll look, you can see that 16 gauge plate. Well, that 16 plate gauge plate was too thin. And it made this whole top ripple. I mean, you can look along the right edge there, and you see it rippling. The back's rippling. The left's rippling. The front's rippling. Uh, it just, it just, uh, it's not very good metal for welding on because uh, it won't stay sh straight and flat. So uh, if I do this again, I'm going to do it with a 12 gauge, a 12 gauge top at least, anyway. Um, but there it is. It's complete. All we've got to do now is uh, maybe um, clean it up and paint it, or uh, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I am thinking about putting a handle on the side of it. I put a handle on the side of it to make it easier to carry around, uh, and uh, you know, from campsite to campsite. But it is ultra light. I mean, it's it's full of vermiculite, and I guess about four gallons of vermiculite weighs hardly anything. I mean, not even maybe a pound or two. So, in any case, um, next time you see this thing, it should have a fire in it, and we should be cooking something on it. Oh, I forgot. Um, I picked up a uh, little. I don't know what that thing's called, but it goes on a gas burner and a gas stove and uh, it holds the pot above the little uh, place where the, uh, the fire comes out, uh, right above the, the gas chamber, I guess. In any case, I um, figured somebody might like this. Uh, like I said, if you got questions on how to you know do this, uh, just I guess if, uh, if you're just on YouTube, um, message me. If you're a family member, then give me a call. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Alright, so I'm sure y'all were curious as to whether this thing was going to work. And I think that it's working. And it's working a lot better than the uh, first one that I built that had uh, dirt in it instead of a uh, vermiculite. Um, got some wood in there in the burn chamber. And, uh... And that is just, that is an amazing flame coming out of there. It's just, it's just amazing. So, I'm really happy with this. I'm going to, I'm going to give this to my cousin Daniel. Daniel, say hi. Daniel. <laughs> say hi. Daniel. <laughs> Stop being a dork. Well, Daniel. 
talk to the back of your head. Well, yeah. back of the head, how are you? Uh, not so good. I'm on camera. It's terrible. I don't like cameras. You don't like cameras? <laughs> <laughs>